and go. Oh, Jesus. Hello! Oh, hello! I didn't see you there. I was too busy contemplating the theory of everything. Welcome to Candy's Cooking Corner, where good enough is never good enough. Today, we have two very special treats for you. First off, it's our very special Halloween episode. Second, we have a very special guest appearing today. My very own sister, Patty Borthwick. Yay, Patty! Oh, yes. <laughs> today, we are going to be making a very special casserole based on Patty's favorite book, The Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. It's my favorite. <laughs> okay, Patty. It's my show. I'm sure the viewers and I will agree you're kind of taking over my show. I'd appreciate it if you backed off. <laughs> well, Patty's having a meltdown right now. Maybe we should just go cheer her up before she gets pretzels all over my kitchen floor. Patty, Patty stop. Patty, come here. Come here. You can have a root beer candy from my very special pumpkin. The metamorphosis is a great example of existentialism. Existentialism is a philosophical theory or approach that emphasizes the existence of the individual person as a free and responsible agent, determining their own development through the acts of the... My eyes are down here, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Patty, get out of the shot! Sorry! Anyway, moving on. Today we will be making a cockroach casserole containing all the symbols, themes, and critical plot developments from the book. The first thing you will need is a 9x9 pan. I like to cover my pans with foil before we begin because I don't like to clean. If only I had a man to do the dishes for you! Don't start with me, Patty! Swear to Jesus! Oh, no, no, no! We cannot find on camera that's inappropriate. So, we will start with the characteristics of Gregor the cockroach. First, we're going to melt down half a cup of chocolate in the microwave, stirring it every 15 seconds. Once it's totally melted, take it out of the microwave. Surprise! Not turning into white chocolate. No metamorphosis! Jesus, Patty, that's a lie. You actually need both white and milk chocolate. Put the chocolate into separate baggies. We are plastic baggies. The food down, Patty. Mm -hmm. Cheezers. Next, you'll need to pipe out the little bodies with the white chocolate. After you've done that, pipe out the little beetle heads with the milk chocolate. This represents the separation of mind and body that Gregor experienced before the events of the book took place. Oh, Patty. Next, you will need a stick of butter and half a cup of brown sugar melted down to represent the brown oils on Gregor's bug body. You will need half a cup of pretzel sticks to represent his legs. Don't forget to break one of the legs to represent his broken leg. And don't get the honey mustard pretzel sticks. They'll send you to the bathroom real quick. Oh, Patty. No, Patty, you're a diabetic. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Grab a tortilla and put out of the fridge, but mind the spiders. You'll need to bake this tortilla for five minutes, then cover it in your brown ooze. This will give you the effect of the cockroach's exoskeleton. Reminds me of something else sticky, crusty, and disgusting, Patty. What? Over the course of the story, Gregor's family alienates him more and more as they cope with his condition. Reminds me of somebody else, Patty. What? Put the pretzels and ooze into the pan, along with a tortilla and a clothespin to represent the snapping jaw of the bug Gregor becomes. Put the alphabet soup in, because this story develops, Gregor loses his ability to communicate. Shut your trap, Patty! I wish you didn't have to hear you talk anymore. Or add a disgusting, add sweet potatoes, because Gregor is disgusting, and put in one of your cockroach man. Now for the fun part, whip out your sewing scissors and... Borrow some fabric from your couch, which Gregor hid under, your bed, in which Gregor metamorphosized in, and optionally, 
a violin, like Grit is. We didn't have a violin, so we cut and pasted a violin from the interwebs. Just for spits and giggles, we're gonna squish down those sweet potatoes so we can make room for our other ingredients. Now put in your couch, your bed sheets, and the violin. Don't forget the picture frame of the lady with the feather boas. Squish it all down to make room for the last few ingredients. Also don't forget to cover it with the sweet potato as you don't want the picture frame to burn or be seen. Patty, sometimes I swear. So we're gonna put in some Crisco to represent Pat, I mean, Gregor's fat father. Uh, some flowers to represent his sister and <coughs> for his mother, <coughs> some asthma. <coughs> And what casserole is complete without french fried onions? Seriously, dump all the french fried onions on here. If you think you have too much, it's not enough. Once your casserole is very nicely burnt, remove it from the oven. The burnt fried onions represent Riker's family and how exhausted they are after working all day, only coming home to deal with Riker. Now, using my vegan powers, I'm going to transform our disgusting casserole into a cake! Oh, Jesus, how'd you do that? I don't know. Probably some kind of moon cycle. Oh, let me just try a happy little taste full of this cake. If, if it'll come out, c please, I want to try the cake. Oh, there we go. Mmm. Mmm. Still tastes like Crisco and sweet potato. Well, thanks for watching today. Make sure you like and subscribe. You know, every time you like and subscribe, Jesus up there in heaven. Jesus, Patty! I thought you were on a diet. What? Oh, my goodness. Well, good night, Patty. Good night. I'll be here all night. Oh, Jesus! Tell me I tell more pieces! Bum, bum, bum! Pizza run! Oh, Jesus, that's got Jesus. you! Oh, goodness. Mama, oh, mama. goodness. Did you see that? Oh, it smells oh. so nasty. Oh. Look, there's the radio station we're listening oh. to. Oh, special. That's different. Oh. Oh. Well, whatever. I'm listening to radio, okay? Driving in the car. Oh, jeez. My freaking ghost is hitting the ceiling. I can't eat. Calm it. My ghost is touching Call the your jets. I can't do Call it. Call your jets, My candy. My ghost is touching Candy, call your jets. How am I supposed to pay for pizza with the ceiling touching my ghost? <laughs>